Hey everybody, welcome to It's a Burpee Thing. Hey, hey, it's a Burpee Thing. It's a Burpee Thing. All right, y'all, so I just got back from my grandma's house and I told y'all I was gonna do a video. And I guess I could talk to y'all a little bit about my sinus surgery and everything, but I don't know if I'm gonna be talking too much. All right, so this is my first time trying African food. This is African restaurant near my house. Um, I got some fish. Can you see that? They got like thousands of rice in here, so. Let me see. I got a whole fish, snapper, red snapper, and I got some rice, and I'm not sure what this is. And they gave me some, I guess, onions and red peppers, I'm not sure. And then I got some calf leaf or something like that, calf leaf. And I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> But my daughter said it's really good, so I wanted to try it, and that came with some rice also. So I'm gonna be rice out. I don't think there's anything in there, so I'm just gonna dip that in this rice that I have here. So, uh, and I got my alkaline water. And let me say grace, and then I can try some of this food because I've never had African food before. Um, I'm excited, you hear me? I can't wait, and I always wanted to try a whole fish with the head on and the eyes. <laughs> I never did, I never cooked one, I never had it before, so this should be nice. All right, so Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. Let it be nourishment to my body, in Jesus Christ's name, amen. All right, so I'm not sure what this is. I don't want it to spoon the rice, maybe something spicy like a oh yeah Ooh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. that's not for me y'all <laughs> that is not for me all right so this look like it's just plain rice maybe they pour it on top of the rice the rice tastes good the peppers and onion i guess they're inside the rice this tastes good Mm. Alright, so I'm not sure what this is. Um, I'm thinking it's a vegetable. This look like it could be meat. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. But apparently it goes in rice. So, yeah, this is like chicken right here. Yeah. Hmm. It's got like a, um, like a, um, what kind of taste it got? Cap of rice? Um, <clears throat> it's kind of spicy though, y'all. It's kind of spicy, but I mean, it's good. I've never had it before. I'm not sure what it is. <clears throat> but, ooh. <clears throat> it do got a little spice to it. <laughs> um, I was, I was telling y'all earlier, I have to get, um, maybe that's why my nose runs when I be eating and stuff hot. You know, it only runs when I eat stuff hot, but, um, I'm, um, Getting veneers and implants and stuff in my mouth. Um, the dentist, the dentist that I had. Well, I think it's so good, y'all. I never had African food before, but it's delicious. It's delicious. I am so happy and excited about my food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all laughing and stuff. Hold on, y'all. I gotta take a picture for the gram. <clears throat> I gotta take a picture for the gram, y'all. For the gram. Y'all gotta excuse me. My thing is crazy ghetto today. But I wanted to take a picture for the gram. 
You know what? Oh, hold to record. All right, y'all, this is my first time trying African food. I got some red snapper, some rice, and uh, coffee, kaffa leaf or something like that, y'all. Don't mind me. And I wanted to try this super ginger coconut water. Let's see what's cracking. And you know, I got my alkaline water here too in the building. So I wonder, I started trying stuff, but let's see what happens. This is my last day. All right, y'all, I just wanted to add that to my Instagram. All right, so as I was saying, this video is very informal. Her name, like it usually is. Mm -mm. But this right is really good. Um, I don't know what this, this stuff is. It tastes really good. <laughs> I don't even know what the heck I'm eating, y'all. But this stuff tastes so good. I don't even know what it is. That's crazy. How I'm eating something, don't even know what it is. But my daughter told me about it and she said it was really good. But it's real good. <clears throat> Alright, so I was saying I got to get um, I wanted to, you know get veneers or as I should say implants um, I went to a couple places um, I decided to go with Absolute Smile Dr. Bolas Hey <clears throat> Bolus Friedman, that's his name. Um, he's such a wonderful doctor and he really cares about his patients and stuff and he just wants to make sure that everything's fine, make sure you're comfortable and everything. So, when he took my um, x-ray, it showed that I had like a blockage like I was saying. Um, I moved to the specialist that deals with ears and throats and stuff. Um, uh -oh. Excuse me, y'all. I got a bone in my mouth. And you know, not to change the subject, but when I was little, I choked off a bone and I ain't touched fish ever again until I got older. Because I was terrified that I would choke off a bone again. I don't know, but I was thinking getting this whole fish with these bones in it. But I'm grown now. <laughs> Let me try to eat this fish like I, I got some sense, y'all. <laughs> but, um, I'm excited. So, I'm going to have my beautiful teeth. And, um, Everybody be saying like, why are you doing that? Um, you have a pretty smile and your teeth are nice and all this stuff. But, you know, I don't want to keep doing the dyes and the bleaching of your teeth and all that. I'd rather just get them and they stay beautiful forever. <laughs> but, um, I'm excited. I should have that done before we go to um, Miami. We're supposed to be going to Miami in October, me and my daughters. So that should be a lot of fun. And I have my new teeth. Um, I may check out a couple plastic surgery places down. Because me and my oldest daughter want to get our breasts done. You know, I had three kids, so I need me a lift. <laughs> I need a lift. And maybe a, a cup size up. But 
my husband always says that I'm fine where I am, but I, um, <clears throat> nothing wrong when to enhance yourself as long as you don't go crazy, you know what I mean? But, um, they told me the surgery was going to be like three hours, y'all. Three freaking hours. And I was like, golly. And, um, they said that, you know, they want me to look at tests done and stuff like that. I guess to make sure that my blood is all right and everything's cool. So that way, you know, they can give me the surgery and everything. Um... I'm just like, oh God. I'm excited though. You know. I'm glad that we found it now because the doctor was actually telling me like if I would have waited, it could have started really causing me problems as I got older. And as it like got fuller and fuller. So I'm glad they found it early enough. And you know, in a way, it was starting to bother me because, like I said earlier, I was like having little headaches at the top of my head, but I just figured I was getting ready to get a sinus infection. You know, and it usually happens to me in the wintertime. So, um, that wasn't the case. Now I know what it was. It was the fact that I had all that pressure pushing up in my head and everything. But, um, <clears throat> y'all, this fish is really, really good. Red snapper fish is good. Oh, uh, and I also got some of the super, um, ginger coconut water. I'm just gonna try and see what it's hitting for. It says it has zero cholesterol. 2.9 grams of sugar vitamin a 4.1 vitamin c 3.9 real juices shake well i think they say ginger is supposed to be good for you or something like that oh uh, good for your blood or something like that and good for your i don't know something i know they said it's supposed to be good for you Woo! smells strong it has a real real strong ginger smell Woo! I wonder how it tastes. It looks like coconut milk. All right, y'all, bottoms up. Mm. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Sorry about that, y'all. <clears throat> the ginger is very, very strong in that. You can taste the hint of coconut, but that ginger is like overpowering over overpowering this fish was really really good i never had breast snapper and look at it staring up at me i mean do people eat the brain and stuff i don't know but I ain't fooling with it. <laughs> I am not fooling with it. But um, that coffee cop ca coffee leaf is good. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not pronouncing it right, but it's good, y'all. It really is. But yeah, I was just seeing my lovely grandma and. I could only wish to be as healthy as she is when I get hurt early. Cause the doctors is like, she don't need nothing. <laughs> she don't need nothing. We fine. But um, <clears throat> it's good. Mm -mm -mm. You know I don't want to pull with no bone. Mm, mm, mm. Sorry y'all, that bone. There's a lot of fish here, but you know I ain't fooling with no bones. Let me see. And I 
pull the bone out. Got some of it. Ah! Took the backbone out, y'all. You know, I gotta be careful. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm good. I still got two of these on. I don't know my husband would have liked them. It is really good. Mm-mm-mm. Sorry, right, y'all. It's my cousin. I'm probably trying to figure out where I'm at. Mm-hmm. I'm not hungry, huh? Dang, I'm picking this bread like I'm picking them. Crab me out of a lot of crab life. <laughs> that was good. I feel like it didn't have enough meat on it. Like, but I want some more. That red snapper is really good. I mean, if you never had red snapper before, you should try it. It's really, really good. Oh my god. Look at me picking. <laughs> Y'all don't mind me. Don't mind me. But that fish was delicious. <laughs> when I say delicious, that thing was delicious. I would definitely eat at their restaurant again. What's the name? I think it's called Africa or something like that. It's close to the house. And you know, I'm from the northeast part of Philly. So, they all got all types of stuff up here. But, this is good, but I want to know what the heck I'm eating. It's like, you don't know what you're eating, but it tastes so bad. I, don't even, I could be eating some my brain. <laughs> but, <clears throat> well, this looks like beef or something. But, um, it tastes really good. Still, tastes really good. Um, I love the rice. It's not too like soft. It's like really good. Just like I like my um um mm mm. -mm. That don't make no sense how spicy that is, <clears throat> but it's so good, y'all. Goodness gracious, it's so good. It's so good. I really don't care for that ginger juice. I really wanted to try some coconut water because I hear a lot of people drinking coconut water. But I love this alkaline water. Excuse me. I love it. It tastes so fresh. It's I mean I just can't explain it. Like some alkaline alkaline water, they have like a taste to them. I got stuff all in my throat. Got like this um kind of like aftertaste, funny taste to them. But this right here, I hope you can see it. This alkaline water right here is so good and so refreshing, and it's not like other ones. Gotta have five. But, um, mm -mm -mm. this is really good. They put like a bag of rice in here, y'all. <laughs> like a small bag of rice or something. They put a lot of rice in there. I wanted to try and get a video in real quick before I go get my grandkids. Today's Friday, so I don't do any cooking, so 
figure out what I'm gonna get for my grand love for dinner. It gotta be on Uber Eats. <laughs> or DoorDash or Postmate, because I'm not driving nowhere. So we get it. But I don't know what time honey will be home. Or my girls. Um they all got work. <clears throat> Alright y'all, uh, so this, I mean, my experience with this African food was a wonderful experience, man. I never ever had any of this before. I never had red snapper. And I sure never had no fish that had his head on it still. <laughs> but I never had this. I Like, I really want to know what this is. Like, it's crazy. It has meat in it and everything, but I know it's some kind of leaf. It's a, some kind of leaf. I don't know what it is, but it's some kind of leaf. It kind of reminds you of spinach, you know what I mean? But it's not spinach. It has like a, like a, a sandy texture to it. <clears throat> <clears throat> it has like a um a sandy spicy texture to it it's really it's good i mean i don't know what i'm eating but it's good <laughs> it's good but my overall experience with the african food it's really good. Like my grandkids would say, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Um, this is really, I mean, I'm really surprised. How good it is. It is really good. Let me ask you <clears throat> This is. Mm -hmm. This is really good, y'all. Really good. They did get something like real spicy and hot with it, but you know me, I don't like too much spice. I think this had enough spice in it to last me a lifetime. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm gonna finish up here. And I gotta get ready to go get my grand love. So, um, again, this African experience that I just had with this African food, the place is on Rodinson Avenue. I can't remember what the name is. I did bring it, um, what you call home, but it is, excuse me, it is on, um, DoorDash now. Where that fly came from? Must have came in when I came in the door. But um, I know it's on DoorDash or Postmates or one of them. No, Uber Eats. That's right. It's on Uber Eats. Um, their food was really, really good. And you know it's crazy because I need to go back out Willow Grove. Cause when I was at Willow Grove this week, um, with my sister and my grandma, we stopped up at uh. Wine Rich's Bakery. Check them out. They got the best cakes, best cupcakes, best everything up in there. Been going there since I was a little girl. But, um, it's up in Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. Um, but there's this, um, Vietnamese place that's right next door to them. Oh my goodness. When I say that they made wonton soup. That soup was so freaking good. Oh my God, the broth was like excellent. I couldn't believe how good the broth tasted. 
So I said to myself, I have to go out there and do a video and um, <clears throat> do a video on their food. Oh my goodness. I've never ever had no wonton soup that tastes the way that it tastes. And I wonder if they use that broth on their foe. So stay tuned to a video for that because I'm going back up there and um, I got to get a, like a little light or something that I could put on my phone or my little camera that I got that I carry around with me. So that way you can see because it's like the lights are real dim in the restaurant and everything. So I have to look into one. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, yeah. That wonton soup was all of that. All of that. And I'm just excited because I'm going to try... Um, an Ethiopian place in the city. One of my friends is going to take me now. And I'm going to try that. So, I got a lot of new interesting videos coming on. Oh, this is August. I should be getting my yum yum box soon. So, I'm excited about that. And maybe, um, if one of my kids go with me, when I get my surgery, maybe they can do some recording and that way you guys can see, I don't know, how I, how I do going in and then when I come out. Because I don't think you'll be able to bring in cameras or anything like that. That's three hours. I feel not. But I'm anxious to see if, you know, my nose and stuff is in black and blue. Because usually when they messing with your nose and put, because they said they go, you know, Put the thing on my nose and stuff and, and like ch chisel it down and all that different stuff that way. But he said my nose wouldn't change. I love my little nose. So I hope it doesn't change. If it does, they give me a nose job. Quick and hurry. <laughs> but uh, they said that nothing should happen to my um, nose. I shouldn't have no um, blackness around my eyes. None of that stuff. It, it just should look normal. And I'm able to go home the same day. So I'm excited to get that done and that chapter closed in my life so I can move on to my exciting chapter with my um, implants that I'm getting with my teeth. I cannot wait. Um, I'm so excited for them. You know, I'm trying to get Nene Leaf smile. You heard me? <laughs> she has such a beautiful white and br bright smile. And, um, I want to get one. You know, I have a nice smile now, nice teeth now, but still. There's nothing wrong with enhancing yourself, y'all. Nothing wrong with it. Just don't go crazy. <laughs> Just don't go crazy. But, uh, excuse me. Thank y'all for tuning in to It's a Burpee Thing. Please like. Hey, hey, subscribe. Hey, hey, and comment. Hey, hey, and hit the bell down there. <laughs> I'm tripping. <laughs> hit the bell down there so you know when your girl is coming on. <clears throat> so I will definitely catch y'all all on the fly. And peace, y'all. Have a blessed day, everybody.